Hi guys, this is Beginner Music Theory, Lesson 4. We're going to be talking about rests and rest durations. So the concept of rest is one that we talk about in class a lot, and a lot of you are going to be very familiar with this, uh, but it's always good reviewing. Some of you may not be familiar with how they work and need a little reviewing, so we're going to cover them today. So let's go to musictheory.net and we're going to click on the lessons menu and we're going to go to lesson number four of the basics rest duration so rests are um, symbols that are representing moments of silence in a measure uh, and each rest uh, type has a duration that corresponds with a different type of note so these rests above take up the same amount of time than the notes below rather than actually playing a note or singing a note or making a sound we just wait that amount of time but the amount of time that we wait in a rest or we play or sing a note is exactly the same so for example the quarter note rest which is this one over here and the quarter note which we've already seen in a previous lesson take the same amount of time and this is what i was talking about so if we have quarter notes ta 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 and now if the third one was a rest we would do ta 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 so you see the amount of rest takes up the same amount of time as the quarter note did before. So it's not just a matter of silence, but it's also a amount of silence that is measured. It's exactly the same amount uh, of time as the note value that it would match with. So, and this is, uh, we, I've already talked about that, the, you know, the note, we actually make some kind of sound, whether it's a sound in an instrument or singing or, uh, you know, per percussion uh, instrument. Uh, but the silent, the rest is truly silent. There is no sound during a rest. So let's make an example here. So we're going to fill up a 4-4 four -four measure which is four quarter notes. And we're going to just add four quarter notes corresponding to his beats. So if we play this, all four notes, all four quarter notes are going to sound. Let's listen to that. Okay. Now, if we replace the second quarter note with a quarter note rest, we now have first beat, we have sound, we have an event uh, of sound, and then on the second beat we have a rest or an event of silence, and then the third and fourth beat are also going to have an event of sound. So let's listen back to that, and we'll see what that sounds like. Cool, and I wanna play this one more time and I'm gonna clap along so that you can really hear that the quarter note rest is really taking out the same amount of time as a full quarter note. So let me see if I can time this right. So you see my claps were exactly with the beat and the beginning of the beginning and end of each note were exactly matching with the beats that I clapped. So let's talk about other types of rests. So we're going to talk about a whole rest now, which is going to be taking the same amount of time as a whole note. And remember from our previous lesson that a whole note is equal in time to two half notes or is also equal to four quarter notes. Uh, the symbol for the rest that corresponds with the whole note, the whole rest is up here and it is written as a little like rectangle, a little square below the fourth line. 
So just be mindful that it has to be below this line. It cannot be below the third line or the second line. It has to be below that line. And there you have it. Let's talk about the half rest. The half rest matches in the amount of time with a half note. And this is what it should look like is a box above the third line, the middle staff line. So very important that these two rests are exactly where they're shown. You couldn't put this uh, half rest on above the second line or the fourth line. It has to be above the third line. So now we're getting to the point in rests where we can add flags just like in eighth notes. Remember that on the eighth note, the squiggly line or the curved line is the flag and in the eighth rest this little squiggly line with the circle is the flag as well and that lets us know that we're talking about a value of an eighth note or an eighth rest if we're talking about rests and now if we follow the same logic that we used for 16th notes um, if we add flags to the note or if we add flags to the rest, every time we add a flag, we're cutting the previous note or the previous rest in half. So this is a 16th note rest and the 16th rest is gonna be half the amount of time as an eighth note rest, right? So just like we could have three or more flags in, um, notes we can have that in rests as well these are not going to be showing up in music as often but they do appear just remember the simple rule that as we add flags every time we add a flag we're cutting the amount of time in half okay so eighth rest two flags is 16th rest and this is half of this three flags is a 32nd rest and that is half of a 16th rest and so on um, and if you remember when we talked about no durations we had a chart like this we showed kind of like the relationship in time between all the different values and that this is basically the same but this time is is shown as rests and not as notes so this is our whole rest these are our half rests and remember two half rests make up a whole rest then these are our quarter rests two quarter rests make up one half rest or four quarter rests make up one whole rest and then we just keep going down the chart and we have here the eighth rest, two eighth rests equal one quarter rest, four eighth rests equal one half rest, and finally eight eighth rests, you can see here, equal one whole rest. And when I say equals, I mean they take up the same amount of time. Remember, that's important to understand. It's just they are they're going to be taking the same amount of time as, as that. Uh, so, yeah, just practice uh, looking at this chart so that you really get familiar with the, the relationships between the times. But the idea of rest durations is really straightforward. It's very simple, very similar to uh, no durations. It just takes some practice to put it together. Okay, see you guys in a future video. Bye-bye.